It's been 15 years since the last time Army beat Navy. In the 116 years of this heated rivalry, this is the longest streak that one team has dominated. But that particular game on December 1st, 2001, is a hard one to forget. To see our nation's future officers out on that field getting ready to play each other in a game where we've just been attacked, where the smoke from the World Trade Center was still burning on that day in December in Philadelphia. Remember, it is bigger than football. It is bigger than a game. That day, it was different. It wasn't so much us against them. It was, we're all in this together. We're, we're in this fight together. We know we're, today is, is very meaningful from a football standpoint, but it, it transcends football. And I felt like the eyes of a nation were on Philadelphia that day. You always relate that game to 9-11. It had more pageantry than you could ever imagine, even more for an Army-Navy game, I think, and you could just see the patriotism just oozing out of people. On that warm Saturday in December, millions of people watched as the nation's future officers took the field. The game's most notable guest was President George W. Bush, who had just sent troops into Afghanistan eight weeks before. I want to wish you all luck today in the game. Go get them and give it your best. And I'm thrilled to be here for the game, but I got to tell you, my mind is uh, uh, with our, with your fellow soldiers overseas. It's not just the president; it's their ultimate boss. You know, they understand the chain of command, and that made it really special. And for those of you who end up in whatever theater you may end up in, I think it was a great message to both teams. The uh, the stadium erupted as he walked onto the field. And it was, uh, it was a very powerful time. I remember feeling like there was no, honestly, there's no way in hell I'm losing this game. The cadets scored first, and with the prestigious Army General Norman Schwarzkopf cheering from the sideline, Army led the entire game with a final score of 26 to 17. I got tackled. I'm, I'm talking about physically tackled to the ground, and I'm thinking, who is tackling me at this moment? And so I, I kind of look around, and it was General Schwarzkopf. He had tackled me, and then he had me, stood me up in the biggest bear hug that you could ever have. There's that much emotion in this game. I just couldn't stop smiling. And then when you got back, I got back, and you know, I, I got pretty emotional. Just it kind of, kind of hits you because it was my last game. What an overwhelming moment that was. To want to go out beating Navy, you know, the last game you're ever played. But to close the chapter on that note, I mean, how special, how awesome. Generally, there's the, the cordial handshake. There was a lingering that went on uh, in the handshakes after that ball game. There was a different look in people's eyes. We all know the end state after that game, that okay, now upon graduation, we'll both those guys over there and us on this side, one team, one fight, all the way. That game will always be remembered as the first Army-Navy game after 9-11, but it will have extra significance until Army can snap the losing streak. The saddest thing to me in all of this is that we've had several classes, almost multiple generations now, that have never experienced one win over Navy. Boy, I just, more than anything in the world, especially for seniors at West Point, I want them to taste that. It was certainly my most special game that I've ever been involved with. I, I've never had one that, that um, I remember so many moments so distinctly. But um, proud of those guys, proud of my time.